What is up guys and welcome back to Cold Town. Today we will be playing Royal Giant, Royal GG, a new Prince variant that I showed off a little bit. I'm thinking in new, in videos uh, it's probably a, a pretty good idea to uh, do that video of showing off new decks and one battle each or whatever. And then have a longer video of at least some of the decks uh, and, and show in length how to play that deck. So this deck is going to be a really fast cycle so keep that, or pretty fast cycle. So keep that in mind. Like this, this is probably this is like your fast cycle. Well, if you go RG, like potentially you RG in the back, and then you play three of these cards, and then you're back to RG. Um, the Prince, the health buff's really nice. Uh, I wouldn't say you're always going like a beat down push with Prince. You surely can sometimes, but a lot of times it's just gonna be about defending and then going RG in front of your counting pushing troops. Maybe maybe uh, Roll Giant, maybe Mega, maybe Ice Wiz. Um, and then using your cycle to keep NATO uh, in cycle for certain things. So good defense, um, good counter push, and that's the name of the game for this deck. Okay, with that being said, let's get right into it. I think with this hand, we just talk, cycle log unless he makes the move first. And we'll wait just a little bit. There's nothing worse than tossing out a log. Uh, we'll go Prince since he went Knight, and, and then they have Goblin Barrel, <laughs> and he has Knight, so maybe it is log bait. It is! <laughs> it is! Dude, I was right! <laughs> Uh, I should activate a King Tower, but aren't, aren't, why do you get his skeletons, like a fast cycle version? I think this is worth it, because we'll get the Goblin and Dark Gob too. Yeah, I should have activated King Tower while he has like a bunch of win conditions in this deck. For a second I thought I failed the skellies. I uh, still, that's a lot of damage to take. <laughs> so it's like a fast cycle, double win condition deck, probably no big spell. Yeah, it sucks that we didn't activate King Tower. That would have been really good in this matchup. Against normal Log Bay, it's not as big a deal. But against this, I feel like it'd be a bigger deal. It didn't have a Log and Cycle there. We let connect. Nice. Go for a low ice was here that'll kill that and distract Dargob. Well, he over, he kind of went in pretty hard there. Ah, uh, I was hoping he had Tesla. He just used log. We'll use Skellies to kill this. This is gonna be hard. Let's see, I don't. Do I activate King Tower there? I don't know. Get a little bit of tower damage here. And get them together for the ice was uh, ice was didn't quite make it. Oh, that push was so good though, dude. That was perfect. I have to log this. Well, I denied damage, but I screwed that up. <clears throat> He's still not trying to mix up the positioning, okay. He doesn't have a big spell though. So that's good. We'll just stop this without Goblin Barrel. Sucks to have to counter a Skeleton Barrel with 5 Elixir to not make it get damage. Alright, we need to build up a push. If he plays barrel into the prince, I don't have to log. No skellies in cycle, so it's rough for him to deal with prince right now. We ignore that. 
It'll, he let Prince charge, so we go on it there. Oh, crap. Oh! Woo. I should have logged faster on that skeleton, barrel, but we did it. <laughs> he could have made that harder on us by mixing up goblin barrels, but at the same time, we could have had it easier by activating King Tower the first time, so... That's a good win. We don't have a, a direct counter to Inferno Tower. That was pretty cool, though. He didn't have Goblin Gang. If he had Goblin, but then he wouldn't have Dark God. But if he had Goblin Gang, we would probably uh, have to use Log on Offense to kill the Goblin Gang. But the the trick there was definitely getting the Prince and like a Mega Minion on the le like on the inside to tank the Inferno Tower for the RG. That w and that worked. So and our defense against Goblin Barrel is good. It's just anyway, it's hard to get their Inferno Tower. All right, Skelly split. Just start ice was in the back. It's fine. And safe. Okay, so we go Mega Minion here. I may. I'm probably gonna have to log it after it kills Ice was before, and it doesn't cross bridge fast enough. I'm gonna log it towards the Mega Minion. Every little detail counts. Still pretty sure it's gonna charge. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Um, we didn't have skeleton cycle, so I don't, I don't. I can't afford to NATO that. Well, that's that's a weird prince. I don't know why he did that. Prince is still alive. That's why I'm going here. Ooh, that ice was actually worked out so well. Catch that so it doesn't die. Nice. <clears throat> that dark prince by him was bad. This time we'll be able to... No, we still can't do anything. Uh, it dies this time, though. Okay, cool. Hey, the, okay, so... Oh. Skelly's not in the cycle. All right. I used them to catch the bar, bro. I need to keep those in the cycle for his prince. Dang it, dude. Just two prince charges. It's, it's that health buff, dude. It's getting it for him. I was playing a different RG variant. I don't like having to play Prince here, but we didn't have Ice Wizard Cycle. Now we can, like, block for it. The Skelly's too, rip. So we'll have to NATO this back. And it's Dark Prince, I don't have to. Yeah, nice. NATO taking out the shields big. So he has Lightning, eh? Just out of cycle, so I can go ice was here and don't have to be afraid of lightning. Let him get going. Ugh. That's a bad E-Wiz. That, that, that fireball was so good. So we just go Ice Wizard to slow? Okay, that works too. I thought he was gonna Prince. I didn't think it was gonna RG right then, but this works. Ooh, look, we got that little bit of NATO tower damage too. We could have fireballed if we didn't take it. Now we defensive fireball. <laughs> nope. Nice, that was a good win. I feel like he has matchup too. Like NATO, uh, Lightning actually gets quite a lot of value against us. Uh, cause everything, everything in my, in my deck is weak against it, so. Run, Forrest, run! Okay. Alright, well, I took a little bit of damage and got behind the elixir because I had to check on food that I had in the oven. <clears throat> I feel like because of the ice golem, that's worth just fireballing to get rid of it. Rip my little skelly. Alright, we're going to have to be making a comeback, I guess.
I didn't think I yeah that was perfect. We got King Tower activation. This tower is the same health as the other one. Perfect, perfect, perfect. You know, I'm just gonna RG in the back of this lane. If he princes, it's fine with skellies. Because of King Tower, that was only one hit just then. Yeah, I can say he doesn't have minor in cycle. Oh, now he does. We'll have to do that, and then we'll log this. Dang, I didn't get the log off before his charge went down. That's decent damage, though. All we have to do to the prince's skeletons. Oh, now we have to do more. I'll go ahead and NATO it just to be safe. Yeah, that was I needed to NATO. That was good. That's how we needed to defend. Needed to defend. guy's so aggressive. I missed the firecracker rip. That was rough because I messed up. I'm gonna eat it. Ooh, we got it. Nice ice was. I was predicting that. Dang, not as much damage as I wanted though. Second to another RG. Let's go. That was so good. Nice, and I came back from checking on food in the oven and taking a bunch of damage and going down an elixir. Nice! Uh, it's a bit expensive after playing a prince, but like it's a keen tower activation, so we take those. I can Ice Wiz log or I could fireball this, but Ice Wiz log leaves me with maybe a counter pushing troop. Yeah. Okay, see, and it made him log. So, like, overall, because he had he decided to log there, I'm up in Elixir versus if I had defended it with fireball. Um, and if you hadn't logged it, I was thinking about RGing, but then you could have just logged and it would have died too, so probably wouldn't have, and, and I was only thinking about it, so probably not the best play, but honestly, I feel like this is a good play. Look, oh, that was so good, actually. That was really good, because, um, I, uh, I don't necessarily need NATO, so, like, if he has, like, a big one condition, like a giant along with his, uh, his miner, I can still ice with, uh, log, skellies, prince it, and be okay. Um, and NATO there made my uh, Prince charge without getting its charge cancelled by the Electro Wiz, and then he had to defend really hard with other stuff, and as you can see, I'm actually up quite a bit in Elixir. And uh, we're going to go in with this because I was already up in Elixir, and poisoning an Ice Wiz is not very good. Why does he have Inferno Tower? <laughs> uh, I don't even think he needed a roll delivery there. Alright, so it's going to be hard to get through. We're going to have to do Prince on the inside, and then RG on the outside. Uh, Mega Minion maybe on the inside too. I'm gonna go and get a Prince Charging. Yeah, so he's just playing a minor control deck with a uh, Rural Delivery for extra defense. 
So, also, I think just taking this is fine. Yeah, that kills. Skeletons aren't in cycle, so he has to Valk there. That's pretty good for us. It makes a little bit more sense why it's actually... It's not that bad for him to uh, just poison Ice Wizards. But it is still expensive, um, especially if he poisons analogs. So. Now we'll go like this. Alright, so we log the skellies away. Nice, we got some damage. We can bait him into an Inferno Tower here? Yes, we'll just fireball it. And then when it's about to expire, we'll out cycle and we'll go uh, RG. Look, we outcycled. I'm gonna. He doesn't have Ewas in hand. I'm gonna keep on pressuring. We can fireball cycle, especially when he just might has to minor on defense like that. Ooh, see, look. So, so see how I decided to not defend because he went minor poison. He overcommitted. Um, also because, like I said, I had outcycled the Inferno Tower. Um. So that's how we can win like that. I need to remember too when I'm trying to spell cycle people that a tornado does a little bit of tower damage now. I keep on forgetting that it does that. I guess if you get a really good NATO that activates their king tower since we're uh since our, we we don't care about king tower activation. Only Prince does if he gets stopped in front, but that's gonna be a rare occurrence, so um it doesn't matter if we activate king tower, so we can offensive NATO even if it uh does kill king tower, and sometimes we can do it to pull a troop and a damage like an inferno tower, so that worked out well. All right, uh, that'll be it for today's video. I hope this helps you guys learn the deck a little bit better. I had fun. Uh, we had really good games. So thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.